Coinbase just recognized Shiba Inu as a Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. I want to talk to you guys about Shiba Inu, about the crypto market, about the global financial market. We'll talk about Japan. What happened with Japan? Did Japan crash the markets? Spoiler alert, no. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. Freaky Friday. It's not Friday the 13th like last week, but the question is, will we have another good Friday? And if we do have another good Friday, do we see another sell-off over the weekend? That's going to be interesting. All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out the good, good vibes. Smishity smash that like button. And because it's Friday, you know what we like to do? The Shiba Shake. <laughs> So currently Shiba Inu is sitting at 0.401445, up 2.5% on the day. It did pull back a little bit, so Shiba Inu did have a higher level yesterday. This was about uh, around, let's zoom in so I can see a little bit better, around uh, 8 p.m. my time, so that's like 1 p.m. Eastern time, 2 p.m. Eastern time, somewhere around that time. We had the peak yesterday of Shiba Inu around 14 and a half. It did pull back all the way to this morning, so it had a, a little bit of a pullback here of about 4.5%, but now it's retraced that and returned to basically the same level it was at that, closer to the high. Um, if we look at the one hour, we can see that we retraced here on the stochastic full, but it didn't go from the top to the bottom, which is interesting. Let's see what Bitcoin did. So Bitcoin, if you, if you notice, uh, at that time hits the resistance, pulled back as well, actually got to a higher level than the resistance. But if you're look, watching the one hour, it hasn't been able on the one hour to close above that resistance level which is interesting. So what I'm going to be watching now, and this could affect the whole crypto market, is if Bitcoin is able to close a candle on the one hour chart above this 63,800 level, right? And if it is able to do that, then I could see Bitcoin uh, going up. But you know, the stochastic RSI in the four hours pulled up so much. And also on the one day it's pulled up so much. So although there are people, where is that meme, right? We're about to enter up only mode soon. I'm against up only, right? We don't ever see up only, even when we're seeing days of plus 15 plus, right? There's always pullbacks inside those days. And along the way, there's always pullbacks, right? So you have to be careful with that up only. We're not done with September yet. There could still be a little bit more volatility, a little bit for turmoil. So like I've said, until we get past the 73,000 level, I'm still always going to be in the back of my mind a little bit fearful. I know that the market itself is at neutral, so we're not in a greed, we're not in extreme greed, but because I have burned, been burned because of these uh, movements before in the past few months, I'm going to be cautious okay now again not financial advice always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest you have to decide what's good for you if you want to play the movements using leverage our partner margex will give you that opportunity to do that we still have the cospa airdrop we still have the competition going on until the end of the month if you're interested but please 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 trade responsibly you can make a lot of money with leverage but you can also lose a lot of money i've been on both sides of the coin and remember that exchanges are for trading they're not bank accounts so if you you know it's not margex related but in general um so be careful i just wrote, read um about i don't know if you guys saw it uh what's his name zach uh b uh, i didn't um uh, i didn't save the link but there's a story of uh he's he's very prominent uh blockchain researcher on twitter and he exposed i think it was 250 million uh dollar you could call it a hack where basically it was social engineering. They called him and they were uh, this person and they were pretending to be Gemini, I think, or was it a different uh, exchange? They pretended to be Google also, and they were able to steal uh, 250 million. They've been arrested by now, but this is just a reminder. If you're, you're staying on the exchanges, 
that you're, you know, this could happen too, right? So, um, so th that's going to be very, you know, it's, it's an interesting story. Um, I forgot to send it to myself. I read it on Twitter. Um, so you can, you can find him. I think it's Zach, uh, BHT, something like that. You'll, you'll find, you'll probably see it on your feed, uh, but it'll be interesting to see, uh, where it goes. I saw this and I just thought it was funny saying 50 BPS instead of uh, half a percent. So you're, uh, What's the term? Bougie, right? <laughs> um, that's it. Uh, you're sophisticated, right? Um, so, so that's uh, interesting. Um, and we were looking at Japan, what Japan was going to do. Were they going to raise interest rates again or keep interest rates uh, put? And they kept the interest rates put. So there's no fear of the carry trade getting worse just yet. Uh, and that's why you see the markets uh, are up today. If they, if they would have raised interest rates, I think we would have seen uh, the market sell off a little bit, but that didn't happen. Uh, that could be a reason why, by the way, that we saw this, uh, not this sell off, but this sell off. I think there could have been a little bit of fear about the Japan interest rates. Uh, so that's maybe why we saw it sell off a little bit. Uh, that could be the reason why that was happening. Um, Treasury Secretary Yellen says Fed move is very positive sign for the economy. What do you think, right? Uh, is it a positive sign? Is it too aggressive, not aggressive enough? Uh, you know, that, that's an important question. Uh, but for crypto, historically, these months, especially in election year, have always been good. Because why? Election year is always um, parallel to halving. And I think it's more have to do with the halving. Stock market has more to do with the elections. Crypto has more to do with the halving, I think. Um, but it, it might be like 60-40. I think the elections do have an effect on the crypto market. We've seen how, you know, the Fed decision had a pump on the market. Um, the SEC does something, it has a pump on the market, right? So the U.S. does affect the crypto market, but of course it affects the stock market more. We still have that $16 billion um, dollar coming back in, in quarter four of 2024. There's been rumors the next few weeks. We'll see when that happens, uh, but we'll still watch out and what's happening uh, on that front. And this was interesting. Coinbase recognized Shiba Inu as money and store of value assets. According to Coinbase designation, Shiba Inu uh, uh, and XRP are currencies specifically dying to function as money or a store of value. This comes amid the debate uh, regarding, you know, that's for XRP a little bit more, but... Um, this is interesting. We've talked about this a lot. Um, could Shiba Inu actually be used as a currency, right? And at the end of the day, I've talked about this multiple times that for the cryptocurrency market actually to step up, right? Until now, most people are buying cryptocurrency and buying Shiba Inu in order to down the line, transfer back into fiat and use that fiat to buy stuff, right? But if the prices eventually level out a little bit, then people will start using a Shiba Inu and other cryptocurrencies to actually purchase as currency. We saw Trump this week use Bitcoin to buy something. I don't remember what he bought, but this is su supposedly the future, right? Crypto wasn't created in order to um, make people mega rich. Well, it was, but... <laughs> Um, the, the idea behind it was to replace the current financial system, right? And for that to happen, first of all, crypto needs to get a lot more stable, right? The prices need to be a lot less fluctuating. Uh, and people need to start using it and not be fearful of the fact, you know, the pizza gate where they buy, you know, use the Shiba Inu to buy some pizza and that pizza ends up turning into a $250,000 pizza, right? So... <laughs> Um, that's something that's going to have to change. We'll see what happens with Elon Musk and Twitter uh, with their money license. And does he turn Twitter and that money transferring possibilities uh, to something that will, you know, have a possibility for Shiba Inu. And then that could be something huge as well going forward. So it will be interesting. Again, we don't know if that's going to happen. That's just speculation. But it would be a very important jump here for Shiba Inu if that happens. So interesting that Coinbase decided to um, classify Shiba Inu as that and others as well. Um, you can see here Doge, Bitcoin itself, not Ethereum, interesting. <laughs> um, but uh, this is a interesting uh, update here about Shiba Inu.
Don't forget to smash the like button. Check out the links in the description down below if you want to support the channel uh, and help us out here so we can continue to give you these daily Shiba Inu updates. Uh, you know, this has been a down month, but I think October, November, December is going to compensate for that. So I'm not worried about that. Um, if you want to drop a super thanks, I really appreciate that as well. And of course, uh, not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, Let's make a lot of money.